Salutations everybody! This is Buster again with another episode of Busterland in my neat little Let's Play Minecraft series. Woohoo! And I can tell you guys I'm quite excited today. Yeah, hello spots. Because we finally start to build something. Let me back inside please. Thank you. Um, okay, but first of all, I promised last time, we will have some enchantment going on. We have six diamonds left, we can spend on building gears, and we have 39 levels, which we'll spend for enchantment on that gear. So, let's see what we can make. Uh, we found this very beautiful book last time. And I considered a lot what to do with it. Uh, uh, we have so many different enchantments on it. We can spend it on a lot of different gear. We can spend it on cores of um, a pickaxe uh, for efficiency 4, or an axe or a shovel. We can spend it on a sword for smite 4 and fire aspect 2, or on a bow for power 4. I thought a lot of it and I decided to put it on an axe. Because on an axe we can have efficiency 4 of course for harvesting the wood much faster. And we can have smite 4 uh, to do a lot of damage to everything that is undead in the game. Which, uh, which are zombies, skeletons, um, zombie pigmen, if we were in the nether maybe and must attack one of them, withers, with the skeletons, nearly everything that is undead ex except for spiders, um, endermen and creepers. Well and of course any kind of friendly animal. So uh, we will build an axe. Oh, let me grab some sticks here. We will start with the X. So, this one, uh, the book, and then we will need this later. Boom, boom, grab this. Okay, first of all, we will spend one level on the X and hope for unbreaking. Let's see, crush your toes. Oh no, this is bad. Mm, now I'm sad. Well, it doesn't actually really matter. Good. Um, and to to bring the enchantments of the book to the X, we need to build an anvil and uh, do that on an anvil. So, quickly build an anvil. Three blocks of iron. Uh, a little upside-down T for the base and the blocks on top. Whoops, we have an anvil. Let's place it here for the time being and see that we can bring that book on it. So we have um, efficiency 4, smite 4 on uh, X. Let's do this. It costs 12 levels. Okay. Bing, bing, bing. Very nice. Good. We have 26 levels left to spend. We will um enchant or pickaxe of course and we will need we will bring eight levels on it this is the maximum we can enchant without any bookshelves surrounding the enchantment table and we will go just with this first one let's hope something good oh efficiency one i was hoping for efficiency two yeah well not too shabby uh, 18 levels left. Let's see. We can. What can we do? Yeah, we will chant um, the chest plate, the boots, the helmet, and I don't have any leggings. Well, then start with build some leggings. And um, 18 levels. Okay, let's see. What can we do? We have four pieces of armor <laughs> maybe four level each would it make a big difference if we spent four level or one level i'm not sure ah we will spend one level on each 
protection one. This is actually very good. No. Okay. We could do this. Protection one, very nice. Little leggings. Another one. Projectile protection. Good. There is skeletons. And no, just. Oh, um, I don't know if you know this, but if you want to change the enchantments that are available here, you can um, grab the the stuff you want to enchant every uh, every now and then. Grab it, put it put it back in. It is um, very slow process. You can otherwise um, use something you can't enchant, which is uh, stackable, and just right click on it. This will put it for the game, put it um, out and in every time, and then you will um, you are able to circle much more quickly through the possible enchantments. So we have a one here. Let's see what we get. And protection one. This is very nice. So we have actual protection three on us and projectile protection one. Good. Okay, 14 levels left. What can we do with this? <laughs> or maybe I save it for later use. No, I use it on a bow. We will use eight levels on a bow. <clears throat> Again, circle through the available and chance. Let's see if we can get an eight. Come on, enchantment. Come on, eight. Show you up. Nah. Every time you need it, there's an eight. Okay. Let's hope the best. Power two would be nice. Maybe I'm breaking. Ah, power one. <laughs> I would have gotten it for for um, one level also. Yeah, doesn't matter. Good. Uh, put this back in here. Oh, I can put the horse armor onto my horse. Let's do this first. Oh, it's day already. No, stop this. Ta da! Look how beautiful he is. Um, yeah, the village. Uh, sadly, I'm hearing a villager. Oh, I thought they were all dead. Missed him the last time I was looking around. Okay. Uh, good. We have one villager left. One villager from all we had. They all got eaten by zombies. And turned into this villain monsters. All of them except you. Lonely sad villager. Hmm... Yeah, run away. We will later bring you some new friends. Maybe um, I will lock him up, so the monsters will won't go through him. Uh, good. Let's quickly lock him up. No. Why isn't this not this way? Good. Okay. Can a monster go this way in? No. Hello, little testificate. Uh, yes. Good. Now we will head on to the Savannah Plateau and see what we can build on top there. I will grab a few things here and make my way up to there. And there we will see us again. There we are now on top of the plateau. You can see the village down below. And in this direction, our new home will be built. Good. Um, this will be some kind of entrance between these two trees. Uh, we will build them maybe by hand later. 
a little more impressive than they are right now. Um, so this will be the the hallway down, the pass the pathway down to um, to the building, which will be over here. Um, yeah, let's let's um, quickly envision how all this will become. Good look around. This pond have to go, I think. Um, yeah. Um, uh, a little bit of terraforming will have to occur. All the grass have to go. Um, all the gaps in the soil have to be filled up. We have to flatten out this a little bit more. All the trees that are standing here have to go. Yeah. Whoa! Don't move me. You're a bacon. Ha! This scares you, right? Um. Okay. Back to topic. Um. Yeah. We will. Where am I? Yeah. This. This will be the entrance. Um. Maybe with a gravel way down here um, to the main building. And um, yeah, let me first of all flatten the whole area a little bit out, fill the gaps up and get rid of all the grass. And then we will talk about the position of the buildings and the rough layout. Yeah. Okay. Let's do this in a quick overview. Okay, so far so good. This uh, this is how far landscaping is going. We need to fill out these gaps here, but I'm all out of dirt. Well, mainly all out of dirt, and we have to fill in these gaps here. But for the time being, this is enough. Um, here, where I stand maybe a little closer to there, will be um, the back edge of the main farmhouse, which will go here, this dimensions roughly. Um, I will show you that from down below later on. And then we have here plenty of space to do um, some side buildings with different functions. Um, this uh, we will also talk about later. Um, here, where the uh, where the back edge of the building is, the back wall, we will have an entrance to. Okay, any monsters nearby? No, okay. To a basement, maybe here. This will be the entrance to the basement. Okay, get rid of all. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, get lost. Please die. Oh, all the halls at night. Come on over. 
Yeah. You will have an axe in your head, sir. Uh, okay, this will be the entrance to our little basement where we will uh, have our temporary storage area for the time being um, so we don't have to head over to the village over there just to grab the resources we need for the building. So I will dig down a little hole here and see you when I'm carved it out. As you can see I carved out the beautiful hole. Isn't it neat? Nah. Okay. But it will uh, it will be enough for the time being. Um, I built uh, 32 chests, 16 normal and 16 trapped ones. So by doing this uh, little trick, you can put them side by side without the gap you uh, must have if you want to stand two of them this way. So we can um, spare a little space. Which one is what? this? Is okay. Whoops. I will do this this way together. So we have a um, really compact little storage area. And the trap ones here, I think. So we can have um, a really nice wall of chests uh, with all the space we need for our storage belongings. Is this a normal one or a trap trap one? Let's go here. Um, okay, just build them all here. Oops. No, this was the wrong one, this one. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, um, I, I stopped by at the village and grabbed my enchantment table and the anvil. The enchantment table will go here. Uh, this way around we have enough space for bookshelves and the anvil will go well just over no. Um, we will have furnaces on this wall, all over the wall, and the anvil will go here. Yeah, okay. Good. Is it day by now? Right. Mm, now I will fill up a few of the chests with the material we gathered so, so far and I will um, stop by the village a few times, go over there, grab all we collected and uh, put them, put all the materials here in these chests. And uh, when I've done this, oh, the day is breaking, very nice. Isn't this a thing in, in English? The day is breaking. The sun's rising. Uh, this one, this way or another. Um, okay, I will bring over all the materials in our new little hole in the ground. And then we will talk about the layouting of the buildings and what we plan with them. Okay, so I will have a lot of ways to go. And then we will see here back again. I can tell you I made miles. But it's done now. Everything is here. I brought everything we had in the little house over at the village. Brought it here. Stuffed it into this um, chest. Named them with signs um, so we can later on more easily find stuff. And I was a little bit on a clay hunt in the close vicinity in the nearby rivers and lakes and chop down the wood in our backyard and I can put away this for now whoops put this 
away. Uh, and I need glass panes. So I cooked a little bit of glass. And I need this for our future portal. Good. Now gets, um, let's see that we quickly can build up the first floor. And we are running out of time by now. I have... Uh, I have set myself on a video length limit of 30 minutes and I'm nearly exceeding it. So I will build the first floor completely as an overview time lapse scene with my little camera angel over there. Uh, so I will start right away and see you when I am done. Okay guys, this is it so far. I lay down uh, the complete first floor. And uh, let me quickly talk about what this is um, to be. So this is the main floor of the main farmhouse building, um, which is mostly for decorative reasons. We will have a little um, living room down here and a dining room and we will have um, some kind of library in the first floor with an enchantment table and maybe a storage area uh, on top in the attic. This one will of course be replaced by um, quartz pillars but therefore we have to go to the nether first. We build the nether portal, well it's not completely done right now but it will be. Um, we build another portal here at our main entrance but we will not light it up now. We will light it up maybe in the next episode when we are ready to go to the nether. <coughs> Excuse me. So let, um, let me talk about what I've done here. Um, it is uh, most likely a, a farmhouse style thingy, maybe some kind of um, building that could be found in um, African savannah or something like that, or maybe a little bit of a um, colonial style. I build it uh, the first floor completely elevated by one block and I put it on these fences so it looks like the building uh, stands on these little stills and I surrounded it with the leaves um, that represents uh, bushes that are growing surround it. It will be uh, later on pitch black inside so you can't really see under it. I will lay down um, black wool underneath the fence and one row after it uh, and then the rest will be filled up maybe with complete blocks or with slabs we will see so no monsters um, can spawn yeah so it's uh, completely elevated by this one block and you will go here inside here will be a staircase to the top floor this will be replaced as i mentioned by quartz the roof will be completely made out of dark oak wood uh, but we will first have to find a roofed forest. Yeah, this is so far it is going. I will... Ooh, oh, no weapon. There it is. Don't blow up my building, bastard. Yeah. Okay, this is so far this building is going. We will then build outside here and here. Oops, here. Um, uh, other buildings for more functional reasons. Um, here on this side will go a hostile mob trap which will use um, natural spawning behavior of the mobs to farm all the goodies from them, uh, the gunpowder from the creepers and the arrows and bones from the skeletons and we have to see how many witches will spawn in there. And uh, this side will be for um, food farming. There will be a 
um, a holding area for the um, friendly animals like pigs and chicken and cows and the um, most of the crops we need to feed the animals this will go then in this area in this building and um, unlikely this building we only need for decorative reasons uh, here on this side we will first build the function of it and then encase it in some kind of building that fits uh, this one okay now this is um, so far it for this episode i hope you liked it if so please leave me a thumb of joy i hope to see you next time again take care of yourself have a very nice week bye bye